my opinion is uh, very, very positive in, in the end. But I think it's good to, to you know, to uh, reshuffle the cards a bit because the, it, it seems to me the, the, the European Commission and, and the new parliament are really engaging in, a, uh, you know, in opening new perspectives and uh, it, it, it's, it's very good, you know, to, uh, to not to start from, from scratch, of course, but to, to really consider the, 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 the whole European economy and in particular the digital economy in the, in the general perspective of what the, the new prior, I would say the new priorities of the, the new commission. I, I mean, uh, you know, in, innovation at the forefront, investment and growth. And uh, the, 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 the trouble with telecommunications and uh, well, e-communications is that it would be, it would be a shame to, uh, to see this like a technical matter, like just one sector. And uh, it's very important that the digital, digital economy be at the, the forefront, at the, at, the, at the very heart of the future of the European economy, it's, you know, the innovation processes, uh, investment and growth. But the, uh, I'd say that the, the, the main priority is to make the, the European market, the European civil market, attractive to investors. And we, we, we cannot, you know, think of a, a, a you know, a growth or innovation if the, if the market is not attractive to investors. So, uh, the, I, I would say telecom regulation, uh, the, the digital services, the, the digital regulation of the data, regulation of privacy, uh, are, are very central elements, but the, the whole framework is the whole thing should be really attractive to investors and attractive to consumers and to citizens. So we have to see the broad picture, but I really think that's the, the reason why things are, you know, uh, uh, being re, re, reorganized, and I think it's, it's, it's really good. The, well, I would say the, 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 first, uh, the first answer is, is it has to be done. And that, of course, the question is uh, how, how to do this. The, the, I would say, once again, we, we have to see this in a, in a global innovation perspective. The, it, it, it would be very dangerous to be purely defensive. Uh, but the, the, the notion here is that the, uh, it, it, it would be, it's important that the, the players, the operators, the service providers who uh, you know, operate in Europe be uh, well, put on the same level playing field, but mostly that uh, they, uh, uh, they they are oriented towards innovation and investment. This this is this is the main point. Uh, the, so the, and the, the, that they contribute financially. Uh, the, you know, to investments, of course, to taxes. So there, there, are, there are a few issues like this. You know, the, all of them should pay taxes because, for the moment, we, we, it's really the, the fiscal situation is, is a mess. Uh, we, we have on the, on the one side service providers, telecommunication service providers, who you know pay a lot of taxes. They have paid for the radio spectrum, for instance, in wireless. They, they pay special. Uh, they pay. Uh, they, they pay regular taxes, they pay extra taxes, they pay special taxes. And on the other hand, they, you have, you have uh, you know, entities providing the same kind of, of, of service who do not pay tax, taxes. The, the illusion would be that the, uh, the putting the, the, those telecommunication service, communication service op services operators you know, are on, within the telecommunication frameworks would be the solution because what will it bring? You know, uh, for instance, if Google and Facebook, you know, have to contribute to universal service, universal service, service you know, it's nothing. It's a few, really, a few, a few billion euros. It's, it's, it's triple. So the uh, emergency, emergency uh, numbers, it's, it's really not, not a very big issue. So, but the, the important thing is that they, they contribute, they, they, they contribute their fair share. To the European economy, they contribute their fair share to taxes. They contribute their fair share to investments. That, that that's the main point, and uh, uh, and that uh, and maybe we'll go more in depth into this. That they contribute also. They, they that the the playing field it's, it's, it 
not only has to be level, it has to be open to innovation. I said that this is the main point. It has to be open to innovation, and uh, we, we have to uh, to make sure the, the 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 field is open to new entrants, to innovators, to new service providers. The, the European telecom sector, for the moment, is not attractive to invest to investors for a series of reasons. The first reason is the excessive fragmentation. And some people say, oh, it's not important, you know, we, we can have a hundred operators, whereas the US only has four or five, or in China has three. It, some people say it's not important. It is very important, because size matter. Size matter absolutely. And if you look at the world scene, you know, the, in terms of access to equipment, in terms of influence on standards, in terms of influence on the design of devices, the big operators enjoy a much uh, more powerful um, position than small operators. So uh, having the, this series of, a, uh, you know, not, not all small operators, but this, this high number of operators is really detrimental to, to investment. We, there should be some kind of consolidation of the market in general, and the, uh, the, the regulation, regulatory framework should be made more oriented towards dynamic efficiency, 